Mr. Biden, this is response by the citizens of the United States of America to your press conference held on 9-9-2021. We the people and citizens of various states throughout this great country are hereby informing you that we will not be intimidated by you nor a crisis-led and agenda-driven federal government. You will not use the IRS, intelligence community, defense contractors, or DOD as an enforcement arm against the great citizens of this country to push a mandatory vaccine and, va and vaccine passport agenda. You will also not use government subsidized unethical and monopolistic big corporations and industries to threaten the loss of employment and denial of a person to buy and sell goods unless they abide by your vaccine agenda. The great states of this country are prepared to protect and defend its citizens against such coercion, extortion, intimidation, and unconstitutional governance. We the people will not accept a new war on, by very definition, a unwinnable enemy on a broad term like the war on terror or the war on drugs. This includes a war on viruses. The people are sick of war. There are 80 million citizens that refuse to hand over their own biological bodies and biological sovereignty over to the federal government. We will not back down on this issue and are prepared to defend our freedom all the way. We believe you do not have the stomach to try to use the federal government against the states to enforce your agenda and are directly calling your bluff. If you try to round up citizens into internment camps, that would be the last thing you would want to do and would only benefit the Patriot Movement. We the states will pass state legislation to protect our citizens against such medical discrimination and federal government overreach. In case you might be confused on jurisdiction, Mr. Biden, let me clear it up for you. The Tenth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, and I quote, the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. Close quote. 